Hello and welcome to the Listen to My Radio tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at the CentellaCast 3 control panel running Shoutcast 2. Um, the first thing we need to do is log into the control panel. When you ordered a package with us you should have received a email with the login details as well as the link to your new control panel. We have an open such an email here and the first thing you need to do is click on the control panel link. There you will be presented with a form requesting your username and password. You'll get these from your email and log in, use them to log into the panel. All right, now that we are logged into the panel, uh, we are at the account overview page. Here, you will be seeing the recent tracks that have been played on your station. Up here, you can see the current listeners you have, the data transfer for the current month, and the auto DJ disk usage. Uh, here, you can see the server status uh, and the audio source status. In this case, both are off, but when they are on, you will see a uh, yellow, a uh, green check mark here. Okay. The first thing we want to do is configure some of the basic settings. To do so, go into the settings menu under configuration. Okay. On the first tab here, under stream, you'll see a few options. Under a stream title, you define, basically, you define the name of your stream or radio. In this case, we set this earlier tutorial stream, we can make it uh, listen to my radio, radio. <laughs> okay. Under email address, you can set the email of your radio station. Um, this can be important because CentellaCast will send you uh, emails to this email in regards to uh, automatic restarts or if you decide to use the request song widget uh, when someone requests a song it will be sent to the email defined here. Under company and organization you can set the uh, company or organization of your radio. If you don't have one you can just leave this blank. Under website URL you can set the address of your website if your radio has one. If not you can leave this blank as well. Um, under source password, you can define the password that will be used when you are broadcasting live. Um, the live broadcast mode is a bit different in Shoutcast 2 compared to Shoutcast 1. In Shoutcast 2, there are basically two live modes. You have the completely live mode in which auto DJ is disabled, in which case you will need to use this password, and you also have the uh, live broadcast mode with auto DJ enabled. In Shoutcast 2 you can have auto DJ enabled and when you start broadcasting live uh, it will automatically turn off and it will start your live broadcast and when you stop your live broadcast it will automatically start your auto restart your auto DJ broadcast. Uh, for those kinds of live streams you need to create a DJ account under DJ management and use that uh, username and password when broadcasting. This source password is only used when you have auto DJ disabled and you are running in live only mode. This will be further explained in the live, broad uh, in live broadcasting tutorials for uh, different broadcasting tools which you can find in our knowledge base. Um, the administrator password is the password uh, that you use to log in, in into CentellaCast and that you will also use to log in into the uh, Shoutcast DNAS um, from which you can uh, do different things like um, kick listeners or uh, reserve IP addresses and so on. Under time zone you need to set the time zone of your country. Um, this is important because if you, for example, set a schedule list in AutoDJ and you set it for, uh, let's say, 2 p.m., for example, 
and you are in uh, UTC plus one. Uh, if you set the time zone to UTC uh, minus one, the stream won't play at uh, 2 p.m. It will play at 12 p. Uh, a.m. It will play at 12 a.m. Okay. Uh, under locale, you set the language of the CentOverCast control panel. By default, it's English US, but you can change it to uh, different languages like uh, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, German, and so on. Um, character encoding, if you don't know what this is, you can just leave it at default. Uh, that's it for the stream tab. Uh, if you want to save the changes, just click on the update button uh, and that will save the changes. Uh, right, so we are going to the auto DJ tab. Um, by default, Auto DJ is disabled, but you can simply enable it by selecting Enable here under Auto DJ status. Please note that you can only do this when your server is off. If the server is on, you can't do this. It will be grayed out. Um, under gen uh, Genre, you can set the genre of your um, station. If you don't want to do that, you can just leave that unspecified. Um, you can also change the crossfade length and the crossfade thre threshold. Uh, we recommend that you leave this at the defaults. They work uh, all right most of the time. Uh, please don't change the mp3 unlock name and mp3, MP3 unlock code. These will be uh, provided by us and filled in by us, so you shouldn't change this. Um, under ICQ, AIM and IRC, uh, you can set the corresponding instant messaging uh, platform if you have one. If you don't, you can just leave it at uh, you can just leave it blank. Uh, under apply replay gain and calculate replay gain, we recommend that you leave it at the defaults, which is no. Okay. Uh, again, to save the changes, just click on update, and they will be saved. Under widgets, you can, uh, well, there are two kinds of widgets in CentOverCast. You have the widgets which you, you can uh, put on your website, and you have widgets that are uh, shown on your start page. Well, you are probably now asking, what is a start page? Well, when you create an account in CentOverCast, you get a small start page. The start page, uh, contains a small player and some widgets that uh, show your listener's location, that show you uh, a request script, and basically you can use that before you get yourself a full-fledged web page that has uh, a design and everything you want. So that's the difference between the widgets. The widgets shown here under settings are the widgets for your start page and you can basically enable and disable the different widgets if you want or don't want them on your website. Okay, moving on to files. Under files you can set uh, two files, an introduction and fallback file. For the intro file, uh, short for introduction, you can set the file that will play before someone connects to your stream. So this is usually a short, um, a short, uh, uh, usually a jingle of your radio station um, or something like that. And it will always play before listeners get your stream. The fallback file on the other hand is a file your listeners will hear if, uh, if you should disconnect from your station. Uh, if your station should lose the audio source, then the listeners will hear the fallback file. Uh, it is very important that you encode both the introduction file and the fallback file correctly to match the uh, bit rate and the sample rate of the auto DJ uh, or your live source. If you don't do this properly, uh, it, will, it won't work properly, the intro file and the fallback file, 
you will hear skippings and it won't be a, a fluid stream. So make sure that you encode these properly to match the sample rate and bit rate of your um, live audio source and the auto DJ source. Uh, the albums mostly define the different uh, metadata and uh, album art of your music played. You can usually leave all of these at default and we recommend that you do, but if you want to change something you can do it here. Um, and there are ser uh, several overrides have two main functions. The first here defines the stream title format and the URL format. We recommend that you leave them at the defaults, um, in which case the broadcasting software, which is either Auto uh, DJ or your live source, will define the 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 text that will be shown in the both the stream title format and the stream URL format. Um, on their public server, you can define the uh, whether your station will show up on the radio directories or if it won't. Uh, by default, the, this is set to never, and you shouldn't change this unless you have seen the ra radio directory tutorial, because if you change this without seeing that tutorial, you will uh, likely, you won't be able to hear a stream, even though, you, even though you are broadcasting properly and everything will seem to be working, nobody will be able to hear your streams, so you should leave this at never, unless you have seen the tutorial. Um, relaying, what relaying does is mostly you can either use uh, another server as a source for your server, or you can use your server as a source for another server. What that basically means you can is you can, um, instead of using auto DJ or a live source, for your um, for your server music or audio, you can use another server as a source. Um, you can you should leave this at default. We recommend that you do so. Um, mount points um, mount points are basically a way to have multiple radios uh, from one Centova Cast account. These can be somewhat complicated, so we will address them uh, in more detail in another, another tutorial, which you can find in our knowledge base. Um, Advanced has several options, and we recommend that you don't change any of these unless you know exactly what you're doing. After you make all the changes you want, just click on Update to save the changes. Um, that's it for this tutorial and um, please check out any of our other tutorials if you are interested in using auto DJ or live broadcasting. Uh, check the other tutorials in our knowledge base. Thank you for watching this Listen to My Radio broadcasting tutorial.